Blog Talk Radio. This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a broadcast that brings you word and encouragement for your soul. We want you to remember that you don't have no worries. All you need is faith in God. Bustin' Loose in Faith airs Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, without further ado, let's get into this broadcast. And may God bless you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, all honor belongs to Him this day and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Father, as I approach the throne of grace to come to you, humble and ourselves, and need our mighty hand here today in the name of Jesus. I look upon us with grace, mercy, and love. Look deep down in our hearts, deep down within our soul. If there's any sin that's we could be set as we could shake it off. I should put in the sea of forgetfulness, cast as far as the east is from the west. Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Thank you for answering prayers, honor, and request with most of all, that salvation will go forth that the kingdom of God may grow. From this day forward, we take authority over the devil and every demon force. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and we thank you in advance right now, Lord, and for what you will do, have done, and will do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have your Bible, I'd like you to open up to the book, the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. The book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And the word of God reads, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. In Romans 8, verse 37, we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. This is the word of God for the people of God. May the Lord and a blessing to the hearers and to the doers of his holy word. Brothers and sisters in Christ, just for the next few minutes, I want to talk about your situation is subject to change. Breakthrough is on the way. Your situation is subject to change. Breakthrough is on. Believers of Christ, move forward where your breakthrough is coming. You must move forward in faith and not in fear in 2024. You see, the Word of God says in Hebrew 11 and 1 that now fear is the subject of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Also, when we look at Hebrew 11 and 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently see him. Beloved, always remember this. What you face today do not determine your future. You see, your sub, your situation is subject to change at any given moment. Just stretch out in faith and believe God, and God will turn things around in your favor. See, Romans 8.28 says, But we know that all things work together for good for them that love the Lord, and it's called according to his purpose. As we look on at the Word of God, in Proverbs 4, verse 25 and 26, it says, Let let thine eyes look right on, and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Believe of Christ, keep your eyes fixed straight ahead on where God is leading you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, 
we have the opportunity to partner with God and to walk by faith in order to see our breakthrough come to pass. Bible says here in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7, we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, beloved, walking by faith and not by sight means even though you might not be able to see it, where you are going, you just keep on moving forward. A question may be asked here tonight, what is a breakthrough? A breakthrough means to overcome something and to have an achievement. Love it, a spiritual breakthrough is a life-changing event that can set you on a new path of faith and devotion. Believe of Christ, you have two paths to choose from in 2024 on a daily basis. Either you will walk by faith or and believe in what is not yet yet seen, or you will walk by what you see in your circumstances. Your choice, your choice is the one that you must choose on a daily basis. Yes, beloved, if you choose to walk by what you see, you are moving away from the walk of faith, which leads which leads you to God's promises. Child of God, trials will arise to tempt you to take the non-faith wrong. But as a believer in Christ, you must stand firm, rooted, grounded in your faith in order to see God come through for your behalf. We are reminded here in the Word of God, in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 2 through 4, it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, various trials, knowing this, that the testing, the trying of your faith produces patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfected, and complete, lacking nothing. So, beloved, in 2024, move forward in faith, by faith, knowing that your breakthrough is on the way. Beloved, to walk by faith means to believe in what God says over what we see. Can I get a witness, somebody? Yes, people, God, a breakthrough does not just leave a temporary impact, but it leaves a permanent impact which leaves a legacy for God's glory to last for generations to come. For example, God broke through the Red Sea for Moses and the Israelites. which caused nations around them to fear God. You see, many people saw God's mighty hand upon the nation of Israel. Another example we see later, that after Moses died, Joshua met, uh, jo- Joshua was chosen to continue to bring the people of Israel across the joy to a land that will be flowing with milk and honey. Also, my brothers and sisters in Christ, Joshua, hallelujah, chapter 2, verse 11 says, For we have heard how the Lord dried up the waters of the Red Sea for you when he met, when he came out of Egypt. And what he did unto the two kings of the 
Amorites that were of the other that war was on the other side of the joint. Uh ah and Central, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we have heard these things, our heart did melt, neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, as God brought breakthrough for Joshua and Moses, he wants to bring breakthrough for you as his child in 2024. So believe in Christ. What are you believing God for? Will you move forward in faith to see your breakthrough come to pass, come forth in 2024? Yes, beloved, God wants to use you in order to bring your breakthrough for your own life. And for us, you are a conduit of the breakthrough. A conduit person refers to one who positively connects people and places or one who distributes something of value to another. People of God, we see throughout the Word of God, the Bible, that God uses men and women to bring his will on earth to pass. Yes, God longs to use your life as a follower of Christ, a life that will shine for his glory to the darkest places in the world. Don't allow what you see make you fear. Remember what the word says in 2 Timothy 1 and 7? For God have given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So believe in Christ, the enemy, the devil, knows your potential and will try to discourage you from doing what God wants you to do. You see, God wants to raise you up for such a time as this. So you must continue to move forward and trust God to be your shield and protect you. Where it says in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. So move forward by faith, in faith, knowing that your breakthrough is coming. You must believe for God to do the impossible in order to see the impossible done. Just remember, you are more than a conqueror through Christ who love you. Beloved, whatsoever struggle you are facing today in 2024, know this, that you will overcome. Always be determined to move forward because your breakthrough is on the horizon. You see, God will bless you and keep you in perfect peace as your mind is on him. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, your situation is subject to change at any moment, but you must be in position to hear from God. So go into your prayer closet and pray. Bible says in Luke 18, verse 1, the because of the verse, Men are always to pray and don't faint. Hallelujah. When we look at the word of God, here in the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 2, 
It says, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. So as a believer of Christ, you are responsible and accountable for the decision you make about your own future in 2024. Well, I'm reminded here in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, 26, verse 17, it says, you have openly declared the Lord this day to be your God and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgment and to hearken to his voice. Yes, believe of Christ, when God gives you a spiritual breakthrough, it will take you a step closer to the divine, and it will change your life in other, in more ways than one. You will get to understand the meaning of faith better, and you will connect with God at a deeper level, and you will gain a new perspective. You see, the spiritual meaning of breakthrough is described as heaven being manifested on earth. It is a byproduct of being in the presence of God, as well as the authority given to you through the cross. Yes, beloved, one of the key principles for your breakthrough is the desire change, for a change to take place in your walk with Christ. You need to get to the point where you are tired of living as you have been, child of God. Breakthrough is achieved through prayer and toiling. Breakthrough is achieved by claiming God's promises, by speaking God's word, over your circumstance and situation. Child of God, yes, desire. Child of God, yes, desire a change and cry out to God by leaving your past behind and by walking towards Jesus as being the author and finisher of your faith. We know what the word of God says. And we will repeat it in Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Here in the book of Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. For an example, when we look in the book of Mark chapter 10, verse 46 through 52, it says, And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho, turned by Jesus, a great number of people, multitudes, Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sent by the side, walk side, highway side, begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and said, Jesus, thy son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him, said, that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thy son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And he called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good cheer, good comfort, rise. Jesus called him, and he casted away his garment, rose up, 
and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said, Unto the blind Bartimaeus, what will thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Brothers and sisters in Christ, your situation, like blind Bonamares, is subject to change. He was blind. Jesus healed him. And now he sees. Yes, beloved, Bonamares' faith is shown when he called out to Jesus as the son of David which is a reference to the Messiah, the Savior of all humanity. Yes, modern man's faith is also shown when he asked Jesus for healing. He was confident that Jesus, the Son of God, could deliver. He heard the report of healing that took place. So, beloved Mona Mayer's story demonstrates the importance of per- persistent faith as an essential, important part of the gospel of the kingdom of God. Yes, believer of Christ, just as blind Bartimaeus, who got his healing, your breakthrough is on the way. Stay positive, confident, with expectation in 2024. So the Bible says in the book of Romans 2, verse 11, for there is no respect of person with God. So believe of Christ, Jesus. Believe of Christ, Jesus. The author and finisher of our faith has come to free us from all of the barriers of life. So, child of God, assume your responsibility for your own life. Brian Bottom is, he had to be responsible for himself, for his own life. His blindness had forced him into a life of a beggar. He would come to the side of the road and made every day of his life. After the encounter with Jesus, Jesus healed him, and he received his healing because of his persistence of wanting it. How bad do you want it? Yes, believer of Christ, our lives are our responsibility. The fact of being in a slump or stuck in a rut in 2024 is not a problem or an, or an excuse. But staying in the rut, in the slump, can be a problem for you and I in 2024. You see, as children of God, the same Jesus that healed Blind, that healed Bonamaeus is still doing miracles in 2024. So, beloved, never lose hope that Christ can change you or your situation. The only thing you must do is to be willing. If you want to be changed, you must come in contact with Jesus Christ, who is our set example, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Do you need the forgiveness of God because of falling short of what you face in whatever situation you find yourself in? 
if you need the forgiveness of God through Christ as a backslidden child of God, the word of God let us know in First John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Even now, in 2024. So, beloved, stop worrying about what other people will say. Remember what they did to Bartimaeus while he was blind. They rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But Bartimaeus did not allow people to sway him on what he knew that was needed in order to receive his sight. You see, you must always remember, beloved, that people are but one or two and unpredictable. You see, most most people do not care what God wants for you. So they will try to they will try as spectators to try to block you, try to stop you. But your mind must be made up. Your heart must be fixed on what you want from God. You must not allow people to drown out God's influence in your life in 2024. You see, the question may be asked, who has the most influence in your life? People or oh God? You must decide now who you will listen to in the most in 2024, waiting for ideal circumstances or situations to happen. Bonamere, for example, he sees the moment of opportunity. You see, no one knows when God will take you you from this earth. We're only here for a set time in a season. God has already established it before we was even born. So, beloved, Ideas, of circumstance and situation are extremely rare, even now. Yet the key is for you, as a believer in Christ, to step out in your faith and act upon it before the moment pass you by. Do everything boldly, like Mona made up. He focused only on Jesus as the author and finisher of his faith. So focus, focus in on Christ. It will bring you a renewed faith, and it will renew your hope and trust in God. Be courageous. Yes, the situation is subject to change. Your breakthrough is on the way.
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, and honor belongs to him. Hallelujah. And forevermore. Well, praise the Lord. We just thank God for you and you and you. We thank God for whatever you believe in God for. We touch and agree with you. Hallelujah. That whatever you, the Bible says, that if any two of us come to agreement and touch anything here on earth, it will be done of our heavenly Father, which is in heaven. So whatever you are believing God for, that is in line with will, with his will for your life, we touch and agree according to his word, because God's word is already proven. God's word will stand. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word will never pass away. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, again, we are talking about your situation is subject to change because your breakthrough is on the way. Do you believe it? If you believe it, you shall receive it. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, focus in on Christ. It will bring you a renewed faith, and it will renew your hope and your passion for him. Yes, be bold and be encouraged. Obey what God has called you to do. Don't doubt it, but just move forward of knowing that by faith, God is able, willing, and ready to meet your each and every need. So, beloved, don't hesitate. Don't wait. Because we never know when our name will be called and our number will be pulled. So go where God where God has called you to go. Do not lose the opportunity to follow him. Look on to Jesus as the author and finish up your faith. Yes, believer of Christ, one thing must happen to you, even now in 2020, both. Take whatever, somewhere between historical and biblical knowledge about Jesus. You have to, ch- you have to choose 
in order to believe. You are spiritually blind. You was once spiritually blind at one time. But Jesus stepped in and called you in order for you to see because a change took place in your in your life. When you gave your life to Christ, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So when you choose to see what happened, like what happened to Brian Bartimaeus, in order to receive his sight, his miracle can always, his miracle came about. Your miracle, whatever you're believing God for, can happen to you, regardless of what situation you find yourself in, in 2024. So, beloved, when you cry out to the Lord with a genuine cry for his mercy, it will always stop him, stop Jesus in his tracks. Yes, beloved, when God hears our purest desperation, he will stop and listen. And then he will dispatch ministering angels to come to minister to you in 2024. You see, trouble don't always last. It's only for a season. Hebrew uh, Psalms 46, verse 1 says that our God is a present help in times of trouble. So, child of God, knowing your condition, that you are helpless and hopeless. The Savior, Jesus Christ, will stand still for you even now in 2024. The same way he did for blind Bartimaeus back then. Yes, beloved, when you cry out to Jesus with unrelenting letters, determination. He will respond to you, and you must make the decision to come to him quick and in a hurry. So the Bible says here in the book of Matthew 11, verse 28 through 30, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and go in heart, and you shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Yes, believer of Christ, let us never forget that when Jesus called us, we were spiritually blind, as blind beggars sitting on the side of the road. So never forget from where you came from. Yes, you are one. You once was blind spiritually. But thank God that Jesus Christ called you to follow him. Yes, beloved, we can testify that we was once blind uh, spiritually. But now we can see physically as well as spiritually. So don't give up. And it's our in these trying times because your breakthrough is on the way. It's coming. Believe that. So enjoy God to the fullness because Jesus came so that we could generally, genuinely know him and be at peace and for us to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Yes, our life can turn around in a blink of an eye if we come to Jesus sincerely, wholeheartedly, and honestly each and every day of our lives. 
So be sure to go to your prayer closet and to pray. Where it says in Luke 18, verse 1, the because of the birds. Men ought to always pray and don't faint. Call upon Jesus. He, he will. He will answer. He will help you through whatever you are going through. Remember, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. It's a decision that you must make on a daily basis. Always looking on to the hills from which cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Lord. The one from God the Father. The one who sits high and looks low. The one that knows you all knows you by name. The very hair on your head. We serve a God of love and compassion. A God that sent us his best. Jesus Christ who came from heaven in the form of a man as a baby in a manger born of a virgin by the name of Mary. Jesus Christ he grew up and at the age of 12, he was found in the temple, reading the book, the book of Isaiah. It says, God has given him power to preach the gospel and to set the captive free. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, he is our Lord of all and kings of kings. Jesus Christ, he's coming back for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. He's coming back for prepared people to take us to a prepared place called heaven. Bible says in John 14, verse 1, 2, and 3, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me, in my Father's house. Oh, man, imagine. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, you may be also. From this day forward, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, first of all, we want to thank God for you. I guess you could just continuously to pray for us on a daily basis, and we'll do the same for you. If you'd like to write to us or to write to us, you can contact us at Dudley or Lisa Tebow at 8544 West Belfort Avenue, number 715, Houston, Texas, 77071. Again, if you'd like to write us or send us the offer, Lord, and press you to do so, you can write to us at Lisa W. Tebow at 8544 West Belfort Avenue, number 715, Houston, Texas, 77071. God bless you. God keep you. It's my prayer. Jesus, Terry. Uh, hallelujah. God is good and worthy to be praised. Until we meet again on this Friday, God's will in Jesus' tarry. Hallelujah. We thank God for what he has done. We'll do it from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Good night and have a blessed night.